I, should I spray it on my tongue? Is that good for views? Good for views? Uh, uh. <laughs> but what does it taste like? Uh. <laughs> Hello, Internet. It's a video that nobody asked for, but I am delivering to you free of charge. You're so welcome. Thank you. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Moose, like the animal. Yes, really. And uh, I am a very adequate drag performer and artiste here in the land down under of Australia. Uh, but moreover, I'm a very curious person, very curious person. And like most victims of capitalism and consumerism, I enjoy retail shopping and window shopping in particular, because I don't like to buy many things, but I do like to look at them and see what's going on in the world, what's happening, what's out there, what could I purchase? should I want to and have the available funds, which is a big should. <laughs> Hashtag queen on a budget. So I was strolling through my local Woolworths. If you don't know what Woolworths is, it is a large grocery store chain, one of the two biggest in the country. We go there to get our stuff. I saw this item which was so confusing and entertaining and absurd to me that I was like, I need to know why does this exist? I need to know more. And when I went online, I didn't really find anybody talking about it in any meaningful way. The item in question is this. I removed the lid because I used it. Spoilers, there's a review coming up. It is the Trady Solo Deodorant Spray Can, whatever they call this. Trady is the company that has manufactured this, and Solo is the flavor or scent. And if you don't know what Solo is, I have a bottle right here. Here's one I prepared earlier. Mmm, I would drink it to demonstrate to you there is indeed a drink that can be consumed. However, I'm currently on a fitness challenge and I can't have this much sugar. I wish that was a joke. It is a very popular, at least I think it's popular, popular enough to have this uh, soft drink or soda or fizzy drink, whatever the hell you call it in your country. And it, for some reason, warrants its own scent. So I have a full report in this video. There are chapters. It's a numbered list. You can click ahead to whichever part you want. Or you can skip right to the end to see, is it good? Why? How did this happen? Who? Where am I? Where is my dad? This and more. Stay tuned. Chapter one, what is Trady? So I was familiar with Trady primarily as a brand of underwear, a company that makes underwear for men more specifically. I do actually have several pairs and it's pretty good quality. I like the branding. It's nice. It's popular. It's in all the big stores down here. It's not really like a high class brand. It's certainly not a Calvin Klein, but uh, it is very accessible and it's colorful, which I appreciate. So they branched out several years ago into producing deodorants, which is quite exciting. They were on special when they debuted uh, and there was four of them. They were very colorful, but I purchased all four of them and they were pretty good. Yeah, they still are. They're still happening. I occasionally will buy them for fun. Also, I love the design of the can. It's very effective. It made me want to buy it because they're very colorful and bright and it stands out in the quote unquote men's section, which is very drab and full of blacks and grays and Maybe a red if you're lucky, because colours and fun are for wimps and fat <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and that's why I'm a woman, so I can enjoy colour. Quick side tangent on my theory of deodorant, which is that if you have uh, work on or a workout or anything, an event, you know, that you need to be on point for, uh, you want to have a combination of two deodorants. This is my personal belief. So you have what I like to call the base deodorant, which uh, might be a, a Nivea, a Rexona. A lot of the sport brands ones are like this. Uh, they're really more of like an odor preventer. They usually don't have much of like a flavor or a scent per se, but they do a very good job of like preventing any, um, I guess, odor from coming through. And then you want to add what I call a topper, which is basically one that has more of a personality, more of a flavor or a scent per se, but by itself will not really offer that much protection. So it's not so good by itself. 
but in combination with something, you have synergy and harmony. That's the ticket. That's my personal theory of deodorant. So my opinion and experience with all of the tradie deodorants which I've tried is that they are good as toppers. By themselves, eh, not so good. Within a few hours, it's not going to hold up that much. Keep in mind, I am not a scientist, nor do I have any chemistry qualifications or experience. It's just my experience wearing them over the many years and trial and error and whatnot. So beyond those two things, the underwear and the deodorant, I knew almost nothing of tradie. So uh, I thought, let's have a look at their website and explore. Why did this come to be? Why would this company make such a product? This is the part where I, um, I do read my pre-written script, but I also actually look at the website in real time just to make sure nothing has changed dramatically and that the information I'm providing is not heinously out of date or incorrect, which would shame me publicly. So the website leans heavily into the underwear thing. I'm learning now, looking at it, that they actually have a Victoria Bitter beer flavored deodorant which is quite wild i had no idea they describe themselves as the aussiest brand ever okay they have apparently partnered with vegemite and chupa chups for underwear so i guess that makes sense because both of those things are australian so when i googled i realized that these things are called body sprays and not necessarily deodorants but what i find really interesting is that for some reason on the Trady website, they don't list the body sprays anywhere that I can find. Why do they not have these sprays anywhere? This is so wild to me. I guess they don't sell them on the website because they're like retail only. I've cut out a lot of me searching aimlessly, but just know that the body sprays are not listed anywhere on the website at all that I can find. And I have looked a lot. So that's very confusing and I'm not insane. I'm very confused that they provide children's watches, wood glue, paint, and a Trady branded cordless screwdriver. So my takeaway from the website is that this is a brand that just kind of does whatever. They just make random products, a lot of weird novelty things or things that you would never think would need a brand on them. Uh, but why not? The more the merrier. So I guess it kind of makes sense that they end up with this, but I'm curious why this particular drink? Huh. Chapter two. So why solo? I have no friggin' idea. Actually I do because I already did my research and read the script, but for this part of the video, I'm pretending I have no idea because that's how I genuinely felt at the beginning. <gasps> Let's find out together, shall we? <laughs> Am I natural and charismatic? F me. <laughs> I'm drinking the enemy on camera. Don't tell anyone. This isn't even my favorite. It's just because it was on special. I told you I was on a budget. I never thought of Solo as a particularly Aussie brand, but I guess it is. I just turned to read the bottle to see if it indicates Australia anywhere very clearly, but no, it doesn't. This is why I just assumed it was always international. I don't know. So it turns out I was very, very wrong, and Solo actually is very Aussie, and always has been. In fact, it actually debuted in 1973 as a drink, intentionally trying to recreate the Aussie pub squash feeling that you'd get at an establishment that serves alcohol. And now that I think about it, I guess it kind of does. My knowledge of Solo has never been particularly strong because I have never really drank much of it, to be honest. I'm more of a cola person, uh, but I guess that's because I'm not much of a man. So the company that owns Solo is Asahi. I hope I'm saying that right. It feels fun to say Asahi. 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 There's a fly in here. I'm going to kill it. So on the company website, they describe Solo thusly. Solo has long been the drink you need when you work up a real thirst. Solo Original Lemon has 5% real lemon and provides active real lemon refreshment. And frankly, it's about time because I'm tired of my lemon refreshment options being passive and disingenuous. Anyway, in the PR statement for this particular product's release, their marketing manager, Bianca Merrington, said, At Solo, we know a thirst-worthy if it often means breaking a sweat. We also know tradies across the country love rewarding themselves with a solo after a long shift. That's why we've partnered with Tradie 
to give Australia's workers a limited edition Solo Sweat Crusher deodorant. It's a citrus and cedarwood combo that's as refreshing as an ice cold Solo. Okay, I will be honest, I don't quite follow her logic, but I guess it's a good enough reason to make any product because money. So apparently, and I only discovered this researching it, Solo, the brand, has had a mascot for many, many years called Solo Man. Apparently Solo Man first appeared in the 1970s and has been featured in many ads up until the most recent one in 2018. I was born and raised here in Australia, born and bred if you will, but I charge extra for that. And uh, I have never heard of Solo Man ever up until looking into it for this video which is very confusing because I watched a lot of TV up until I was about 18 and uh, I unfortunately have a lifespan that now spans over three decades. So <laughs> that's concerning for me, but rel relative to the video, it's just strange that I had never heard of this or seen it before. Uh, what I found funny is that when I was talking to people about doing this video, I would ask them like, oh, do you know Solo Man? Nobody really had a strong recollection of Solo Man, which in my opinion, uh, makes him a very failed attempt at a mascot, but he is very entertaining and sometimes sexy. So let's have a look. Chapter three, Solo Man. Wikipedia, which is the most reliable and comprehensive source of information available on the internet, describes Solo Man as a very macho, traditionally masculine man. So we have much in common. Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm calling the police on myself. So apparently for decades, Solo Man was the epitome of masculine Australian energy. But their 2018 campaign had him partaking in more domestic activities, such as constructing furniture, very gay, very, very gay, handling wood the whole time, and making costumes for a school play. What a wimpy little pansy fag. Apparently one of their slogans included the line, Solo Lemon, a man's drink. Mmm. Mmm. I guess I better go get a refund because I won't be allowed to drink that. In fact, I'm surprised the police aren't here now. Solo Man has been portrayed by many different people over the years, uh, most of whom are not interesting or important enough to talk about in this video. However, at one point, he was portrayed by Terry Creasy, who is the father of renowned homosexual comedian Joel Creasy. So clearly the solo was not doing a very good job of keeping the gay away because Solo Man himself had a f it baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to get cancelled and I deserve it. No homo, drink solo. A. This is what Solo Man's going to do in the new... I should be Solo Man. After this video, I reckon I could be Solo Man. Can you imagine? That'd be fierce. So there is an entire section on the Wikipedia article for Solo about masculinity in marketing, which is something I've never seen for any other drink before. And I thought was very interesting. Uh, it makes me think that either somebody from the Solo marketing department got in there and slapped it in for whatever reason, I guess if people Google manliest drink, uh, or, Somebody was doing an assignment for high school or maybe like a gender studies subject and uh, they decided to put up their research and and make a legacy for themselves. Anyway, I have to read this part verbatim because it is very funny to me. The portrayal of solo man follows common techniques used in gender advertisements. These techniques include men being alert and conscious of surroundings, standing upright, gripping things tightly with their hands, eyes open and looking around, controlled bodies, being serious and being physically active. Wow. My dad didn't teach me any of that and I turned out fine. It does also elaborate that apparently men are twice as likely as women are to have a soft drink on any given day. So I suppose it makes sense that they're trying to corner the manly market here uh, because I guess you get twice the money, bry. Two dollars is more than one. So I had to seek out evidence of Solo Man, and I mean the videos of the ads, 
just out of curiosity. And I am fascinated and thrilled to report that many of them are on YouTube in full. And by in full, it's like 30 seconds, but it's still very exciting to me that I have access to these. I love the internet. Let's take a look together. So in this first one, Solo Man is uh, chilling by a riverside, or I guess a billabong, puts down his solo, but oh no, he's put it on the head of this beautiful realistic crocodile. And the crocodile clearly, knowing the value of Solo, wants to make a quick getaway into the water, which is obviously the crocodile's home turf and where it has a big advantage. Uh, so Solo Man jumps in, wrestles with the croc, the can is free, oh, the drama, I don't know what's happening. The crocodile retreats in shame and Solo Man guzzles the drink. And I have to say, I'm sorry, this ad is clearly terrible and stupid. The times were different. But this Solo Man is so hot. This Solo Man can get it. I want to be the Solo Can. He can tear me open. Oh, no, he can't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> so, yeah, look, I am thirsty, but not really for the drink. So this one from 1998 features Rove McManus. If you're not familiar with him, you must either be very young or not Australian. But he was basically our big late night TV talk show host in the late 90s and early 2000s. I believe he's still alive. I think he went to America and has some sort of career there. So good for him. In this one, Solo Man isn't really present, but his role is filled by an, an everyman named Phil Bailey who is a butcher, and he basically takes on the role of Solo Man. So for some convoluted reason, he races through a junkyard full of angry dogs to get some meat, which Rove deems worthy of receiving a can of Solo. I'm very confused and I hate it, but I want to give a shout out to Rove's face work, which is great. He's very animated. And also his shirt, which says, slam it down, slam it down. So when I was looking through these, there's a lot of generic, athletic, outdoorsy things. Not all of them are as interesting as the two I just showed you, but I did have to find which one is Joel Creasy's dad, because I want to know who is the most famous solo man and what was he doing? I don't know what Terry Creasy looks like. He hasn't really had a career after his solo man stint, but I did find an interview with Joel where he confirms that this is indeed the ad. That includes his father apparently. So it's from 1985 and boy does it look like the beginning of some bizarre vintage gay pornographic film. This was an average day in the 80s for the Australian man, you know, riding shirtless on the beach with your horse, uh, doing some rope climbing over the rapids. Kind of a weird like sinister flashing of the solo can all the time, which I guess is supposed to subconsciously make us want it. Running up the path with his dog. That dog probably also drinks solo because it looks very manly. And then he's on the cliff drinking the solo. This is very sensual. They're all, oh, hello. Okay. I forgot about the hot one with the beard. <sighs> I'm going to watch that again. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my god, that man is beautiful. Who is he? Screw Terry Creasy. Who is this man? I want I want him to have a career. Oh, he's probably like 90 by now. He's probably dead. Who knows? Uh, look, at least I'm finding the silver lining. There's some very attractive men in these videos. As somebody on YouTube, I am contractually obligated to ask you to like and subscribe and to do some sort of engagement. So very organically now, I'm going to ask you you watching and or listening to this right now if you got to be solo man and you got to pick what kind of outrageous athletic feat that you did in the ad what would you choose and why hmm. i think um i would do the most epic feat that any man in australia can do but very few do and that is go to therapy a That was the least triumphant dance ever, I guess, because I was thinking about all my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Solo, slam it down. Oh my God, they're slamming down their feelings. They're repressing all their trauma. That's, that I cracked the code. Chapter four, but does it smell like Solo? Hmm. Okay, so now I've educated myself. We can establish that, yes, this pairing does make some sense. We have... Trady, a brand that does nonsense novelty things, particularly Australian ones. We have Solo, which does manly Aussie tough stuff. And I guess people doing tough stuff need deodorant, happy marriage, synergy. It takes two to make a thing go right. 
Yeah, anyway. But you may be wondering, after all this, is the product good? Huh. Does it actually smell like Solo? This can obviously uses he, him pronouns because it is born of the two manliest brands in existence. He weighs in at 160 mils or 94 grams, which is pretty standard for deodorants, body sprays of this price point. The back indicates that the main scents are citrus and cedarwood. Quite hilariously, it does warn you that this is not a beverage and is for external use only. I initially thought that anybody foolish enough to drink this probably deserves whatever cruel fate awaits them, but then I thought perhaps a toddler or a child might come across it, and some people are of the opinion that toddlers and children should be allowed to live, which is not a view that I share, but I can respectfully agree to disagree. So, does it smell like Solo? I think so. It smells really good. It smells really good. It's like lemony and fresh and zesty. It's fun. I suppose I should compare. It's pretty similar. Honestly, it is pretty similar. It's about as close as you can get to making this smell like a deodorant or a body spray. You know what I mean? It, it smells like how Solo tastes and feels, which to me is a sign that it's done its job. And I can respect that. Given how totally unrelated a body spray and a drink are, I think they did a very good job of replicating the scent, the flavor. Uh, yeah, it, it smells really nice. Yeah, not sponsored. Although I am open to it. Trady, Solo, hit me up. I'm gonna be the new Solo man. Let's do it, I'm ready. Look at that shoulder, look at that clavicle. How can you turn that down? I'm ready to wrestle my alligator. Actually, I want to wrestle with the man with the beard. Chapter five, is it good? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Kind of. Okay, so is it good? Yes, I was pleasantly surprised at how nice it smells. It's really like light and fresh and, and delicious. I'm normally not a fan of like citrus type scents. So I was I was quite impressed to be honest. It's got a nice like refreshing type of vibe and I think the branding is fantastic. But of course I would say that because yellow is my favorite color. But you may be wondering how does it hold up? And I have to tell you a secret. I'm wearing it right now. Edit some sensual music over this mousse because it'll be really um erotic. Ooh. Ha. <sighs> I'm gonna wrestle on a river craft. Never mind. Who? Me? With these breasts? And this scented can? <laughs> I've lost my mind. How does it hold up? I mentioned at the beginning my theory of deodorant. You have a base, you have a topper. This is definitely a topper. I have done trial and error with it. I've worn it by itself. I've worn it as a topper. Um, now that's the two options. I don't know what else I was going to say. It does not hold up. I'm just going to tell you right now. If you wear only this within like an hour, gone, gone, you will smell slightly more lemony, but it's not going to do anything to prevent odor. Just so you know. Um, luckily I smell delicious naturally anyway, but not everybody does. So maybe it's not for you, but as a topper, hell yes. My two bases of choice are brute original controversial pick I know please don't at me and send me hate in the comments I think all the girls gays and theys will probably be like what why I love this smell I think it's delicious but that's a story for another day doesn't hold up as well as base number two which is uh what's it called <laughs> I wear this like all the time Nivea man this is the black and white flavor scent whatever there are like seven of them to be honest they're all very similar but they are all fantastic like they really will hold up through friggin anything you can run a marathon and you'll be good um so yes on top of some of these or something similar the tradie would be great by itself girl no so we now know this product exists due to what is basically a logical union between two brands that are very manly and australian whatever either of those things mean uh so i was quite foolish to mock it I was quite ignorant and uh, I take back all my hateful comments. I was impressed and surprised, so you go. It is now in my rotation of toppers. It's not number one, 
but it's in the rotation, you know what I mean? And it's also a very reasonable price. So it's normally around like $6, but when it's on special, it's three. Get it when it's on special, girl. Get it when it's on special. Anybody paying full price for nothing? Anybody got time for that? So at the end of the day, I give it a big, manly, thirst-crushing thumbs up. On your cobber. On your tradie. On your solo. You made a good product and, um, well, mostly good product. If I had to give it a rating out of 10, seven big juicy lemons. Oh, should I spray it on my tongue? Is that good views? Good for views? But what does it taste like? Uh. <laughs> if you watched any part of this, thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I'm on Scruff. I might get a Twitter, maybe. If you think I should get one, do you want to sponsor me? Sponsor me. Tradie, solo, anyone. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next Solo Man advertisement, in which I will be Solo Man. Um, but until then, I have to go because I have to go and do some manly things like standing, being alert, physical activity, uh, gripping things firmly. Gripping things firmly like your dad's big throbbing c That is f***ing disgusting. I can't wait to cut that. Um, anyway, I think that's it. Is there anything else I need to film on this? No. Cool.